Aye, right, we're working on that. Mm, mm. Good lady. What do they call you? And when mm. they're sober, a jilt when they're sauced. But never, lady. <laughs> well, good Leanne. I... I oh, 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 bollocks. <sighs> Bag of shite! Do you hear me? It's a bag of bloody shite! It's a ruse to keep us off before they attack Nassau. You'll see, mark me! It's no ruse, Vane. I heard it straight from the mouth of a greasy Bermudan captain. There's a pardon on offer for any pirate that wants it. Ruse or no, I think it's plain the British may return to Nassau, with arms, no doubt. We'll need a plan. Walk with us, can we? There's trouble brewing. In the absence of any clear ideas, I say we lay low. No piracies and no violence. Do nothing to ruffle the king's feathers for now. Preserving the king's plumage is no concern of mine, Ben. It will be when he sends his soldiers to scrub this island clean of our residue. Look around you, man. Is this cesspool worth dying for? Aye! It's our republic! Our idea! A free land! For free men, remember? So maybe it's filthy to look at. But ain't it still an idea worth fighting for? I can't be sure. But when I look on the fruits of our years of labor, all I see is sickness, idleness, idiocy. Not a sunbeam of difference between here and London, then, eh? That is right, man. Taking a wide view, they're not doing so bad out here. The sun, rum, and leisure as far as the eye can see. Aye. Nassau may look fine from a distance, but at its core, there's a disease I cannot stomach. Sickness can be cured, Ben. If only you have the right medicine. But a corpse cannot be reanimated. I can't believe the shite I'm hearing drop from your lips. Why not take the pardon now and be done with it? Peace, both of you. We can satisfy both aims if we work together. Find medicines to ease our burdens here, but in a way that don't attract the British. I wager the nearest doctor is sitting pretty in Havana. Not a place I mean to go. But the Spanish fleet that sunk two years back would have some medicine. All sealed up in glass vials. You'd need a diving bell to reach those depths. Aye, and with some coin and a few supplies, a diving bell won't be hard to come by. This is a plan I can stand behind. Find medicines without stirring up trouble. Agreed, Thatch. Agreed. Aye. I'll meet you near the racks as soon as you're able, Kenway. Remember, Thatch! Keep your cannons, Court! Piss off, man!
What can I do for you today? All the best. Captain has the helm. Devil in his hole, Thatch. This is a darling galley. 32 guns, is it? I lost count at 40. You've stepped up a rung. So, any luck finding medicines here? Nothing round this spot, sadly. But there's a few wrecks yonder that ain't been scoured by nothing but crabs and coral. I'll have a look. Edward? Edward, is that you? My goodness, the West Indies is a compact place. Hello, Bonnet. A surprise seeing you out here? I met Mr. Thatcher a month or so ago, and he offered to take me under his yard arms, so to speak. 
says I must wash the hayseed from my hair before I'm a true pirate. Well, good luck to you then. Worst men have become better under Blackbeard's watch. found one crate hidden beneath a school of sharks. Sadly, the elixir inside is quite spoilt. Plague and Ugh. perish. Will we steal medicines now? Remember the pardon, Thatch. We're to be subtle. Says Ornigold, a pirate, now too proud to call himself one. Now he prefers caution to cannons. Caution's nothing without charisma. If a man plays the fool, then it's only fools he'll persuade, but appear to be the devil, and all men will submit. And would you be the devil? Big 
show. Give your quarry something to fear. Some hellish thing from a fever dream. And men will drop to their knees, pleading for their lord before all else. <sighs> oh, God. It looks fine. Of course it does. You can find a quiet way to acquire medicines. Tell me soon. Otherwise, I'll handle it myself. <laughs> 